Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for being here. If you are new to my channel, thank you very much for coming by. Please click that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you get to watch. So in my previous tutorial on this channel, I shared a video on how to make this fancy sleeve. I love fancy sleeves and I'm going to put the link to this video in the description box below. But today I want to share with you guys how to make this fancy sleeve. It's a puffball sleeve with a pencil cuff to it and it can transform your basic blouse or basic dress into a ravishing beauty. And if you want to learn how to make the sleeve, it is very, very easy to make. Make sure you watch to the end to know how to make this. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you. Here, the first thing I did was to fold out the fabric I'll be requiring for the sleeve. And what I did was to divide the circumference of the arms into two. Then I added my seam allowance, ease allowance. Then to that measurement, I added seven inches more. To create more volume for the sleeve this is the close end of the fabric while that way is the open end of the fabric i'll be marking on this fabric so that it will be clear enough so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to determine the length of my sleeve now for the total length of the sleeve i aimed at nothing less than 20 inches so now after determining the full length of your sleeve measuring from the shoulder area down to wherever point you want it to be i measured mine from the shoulder area close to the wrist area so the next thing i also determined was how long i want the puff side of the sleeves to be measuring from the shoulder area down to around the elbow area which is about 14 inches so what i'm going to do right now is to measure in the 14 inches but I'm not going to be stopping at 14 inches because I need some puffiness around the lower part of the puff side of the sleeve so I'm going to add additional three inches right there to the measurement in order to create that effect so right now as you can see I'm going in to measure at the close side of the sleeve instead of that 14 inches I'm going to be measuring at 17 inches so as you can see i've marked this 17 inches out so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to measure from the close end of my sleeve i'm measuring in seven inches in that is the seven inches i mentioned earlier on for the volume of the puff sleeve this is a, a local method a very traditional method of making puff sleeve that is the same method I'm, I use for the sleeve. So if you know how to make a puff sleeve before, this is not going to be strange to you. Then from this line onwards towards the open end of the sleeve is where you're going to be marking your basic sleeve. If you are going to use a pattern, you can place your pattern right there and mark out your basic sleeve. For mine, I'm just going to be tracing in mine. As you can see right now, you can join me if you are not using a pattern for this. So after marking the sleeve, if you can observe, the side seams are equal. And this is exactly how I marked it on my main fabric. And I just cut it out and set it aside and marked the lower part of the sleeve. Here, I measured the circumference of where this lower part of the sleeve will be starting from. Divided it into two, added my seam allowance and used the measurement to fold the fabric I'll be using for this lower part of the sleeve. So now you have divided the circumference of where this part of the sleeve will be sitting. We're going to be measuring it in right here. So here, I'm going to be taking in the measurement right here. Make sure it's neither too tight nor too loose. So now after marking the half of the second friends I added my seam allowance now to mark out the length of the lower part of the sleeve I've taken 14 inches for the upper part of the sleeve and remember that we are aiming at 20 inches for the total length of the sleeve so logically it's supposed to be remaining 6 inches to complete the measurement if I consider that 6 inches alone it's not going to help me create the puffiness around the 
elbow area of the sleeve because I need to pull up the lower part of the sleeve towards the upper part to create that puffiness. So what I did was to add additional 2 inches to that 6 inches for that effect and also I added 1 inch for joining the lower part and the upper part of the sleeve together and then 1 inch again for hemming the lower part of the sleeve. Now I'm going to be marking 10 inches instead. Now on this wrist line, you're going to be measuring the circumference of your wrist. Then divide it into two. Make sure it's not too tight, not too loose. Then you're going to be marking half of inch right here and then add your seam allowance. Now I'm going to be connecting these lines together. And this is exactly how I marked it on my main fabric. After doing this, I cut out my sleeve and then we're going to go over to the sewing process. Now these are the original pieces for my sleeves. The first thing I did was to notch the center part of my sleeves right here and here. You may choose to ignore this lower part of the sleeve. So the next thing I did was to join my side seams together and give it a stitch along the side seams of both the upper and lower part of the sleeve. Then after sewing the side seam, I went ahead to hem the cuff side of my sleeve. Now after doing that, the first thing I did was to turn the lower part of my sleeve inside out to the right side as you can see. But the upper part of the sleeve is still at the wrong side area. So I'm going to be marching both the side seam and the midpoint of the seam to join it together. So I'm just going to turn the lower part upside down like this and I'm going to slip it inside like this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to match the notch at the center part of the upper part of the sleeve and that of the lower part of the sleeve. Then I'm going to hold it down with a safety pin and the next thing I'm going to do also is to match the side seams together. So now as you can see first of all I pin the midpoints together. Next, you're going to be joining the side seams together like this. You're going to pin it together. After doing that, you're going to be distributing this fullness all around the lower part of your sleeve area. But first of all, you may want to use your pin to gather it first before sewing. Or maybe you can sew as you go on on your machine. You gather it evenly along the lower part of your cuff. So now after doing that, the next thing you're going to do now is to join it to the bodice. Now to join the sleeve to my bodice, first of all, I'm going to be matching the side seams together. That is the side seam of my bodice to the side seam of my sleeves. I'm going to be matching it together like this and I'm going to be holding it with a pin. After holding it with a pin, it should look something like this as you can see right now. So now I'm going to be matching the center part of the sleeve right here, the notched area together to the shoulder of my bodice. I'm going to pin it right here and then I'm going to take it to my machine and evenly distribute the fullness of the sleeve around the arm side of my bodice. And when I'm done with that, my sleeve is ready. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And let me know what you think about this tutorial on the comment section below. Also check my description box and the first comment on the comment section below for all the videos I featured in this tutorial. I'll be putting the links on the description box below. And on the first comment on the comment section below. See you guys in my next tutorial. Stay safe. I love you guys. Bye.